All right, so that last episode was really negative, but now we can turn over a new leaf and start talking about they built gorillas. What the shit? Why would you build that? I mean, if if I could make fake real gorillas that can float and walk over <laughs> stuff that doesn't have. I'm but then they stick them in a cage. It's like, boxes. do you know what Look we want? <laughs> Caged gorillas. <laughs> it's like... Same. Well, I would totally build all these things. A fucking mad okay, scientist. Dad. Be cool if you could be Repeat a mad after scientist. Me. Oh. Da, da, oh, da, 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 da. Feel good. Pro tip. Pro tip for people who are watching. If you kill the gorillas, not saying that you can't, but if you do, save the meat and you can make mounted synth gorillas for your settlements and it's real fun Wait, to look what? at yes we need to go on safari <laughs> i just i, so, I can't uh, help go wait, ahead. Wait, there's a guy go. here that talks Most about the gorillas like the patience to observe and no i was just gonna say I, I feel like it's there has to be I, I know the Institute is an entire Excuse faction me, that you can side Whoa. with and carry them so through all the way to the ending, Dr. but Clayton I feel Holden. like this was originally a much bigger hub to the story at some point, because yeah. making custom gorillas that sit in a vault that are animated, making this entire Look, thing in a completely different texture set with completely different items, implies, it's just a weird thing to do that they don't really do with any other faction. I feel like at some point in development, this was a much bigger thing that got pared back somehow. Bethesda hates new the animations. They have such a tight animation budget. <laughs> For use in food oh, and so our We've father, who I am now older than animal. you and call you father, you did gorilla. you think I was evil? Really well, how do you feel about these gorillas that I keep? That's not evil. That's not something an evil genius would do. That's <laughs> totally on the so, level. <laughs> so this guy talks to you about the gorillas, and he's like, aren't the gorillas great? Except uh, there's another route you can come into here. Like, you can go through the front door to get into this zone, and then you can, like, go off to the right, and there's, like, this big, like, circular way around that also leads into the, like, place where they were making super mutants for no reason for 40 years. Um, so I came in here from the back, and this guy says, aren't the gorillas great? And I was like, yep, what? Gorilla, yeah, what? same here. Yeah, I had no idea what this guy was on about. He's like, oh, about these outside. gorillas, and there's Would this there entire conversation. And I just played along. Yeah, sure, gorillas are great. And I wondered <laughs> what I was talking My about. Or what I was then I wandered over <laughs> and saw Yeah, them. no, same. My pockets were totally full of shit that I had stolen because that was my prime directive. And I was like, yeah, gorillas, sure. <laughs> I actually hadn't seen them, but I was having a conversation in such a location that I believe they were in the background. I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. So, did it, was it like, was that the first time you saw them? And it was like, wait, what the fuck? Wait, are those gorillas? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. And then I wandered over Tell and took a closer look, and I'm like, I can't believe they the animated whole? this. I'd say they were a success. <laughs> cool. Their behavior does generally match what our historical data says it should be. Unfortunately, we had a few early setbacks. The creatures can become suddenly aggressive. The creatures can be su come suddenly tall. aggressive. Yeah, that's like, why would gorillas. you build that into them? They only walk around so in a tiny little room. They nice literally need to Well, only I mean, do if this. the idea is to, like, if this were a sensible thing and the idea was to, like, recreate extinct species I, as yeah, synths, I guess. And but, release them into the wild, then like it would make sense to program them. Why with would the you release silverbacks in Boston? I don't know. <laughs> I know these guys. Well, how else are you going to create? Eagles. You're gonna have to work how else are you going to create genre transcending mixtures of electronic rock and rap music? Mumbles. The Fair real enough. thing they should do with this this power to make fake animals Wait. is just do Jurassic Park and just fucking unleash oh, dinosaurs. What if the Institute ending do. was reclaiming the wasteland with synth dinosaurs? With dinosaurs. That's and something the original the two fallouts would do. Army. Oh, yes. I'd be, yeah. I would so... I don't care how I feel about synths. I would do that because being a dinosaur lord is all I've ever wanted since I was three. So... so they they got they got uh, Sean because his DNA was pure and not tainted by the radiation. She's been at it for over two weeks. Where was this perfectly preserved gorilla? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it. For fun. A, amber. I, did they make it up? Okay, it was so it's not even a real amber. All right, so yes. <laughs> I'm just imagining like a gorilla all like posed like what the fuck, 
<laughs> floating in a big glass <laughs> nugget of amber. Yes, I know who you are. <laughs> okay, you know, really well, a sure much more interesting three-way conflict for the Wasteland would be one faction who thinks well, people are garbage and wants to replace them with I'm perfect sorry. synths Not my intention. and then, like, suicide packed humanity. Right now, another faction that is like, these synths are the worst, we need to destroy all yes. of them. Oh, and another faction's like, oh no, we should just take the synths and brainwash them to not want to kill us anymore. That's much better. Father's orders. You're to be given full access with the ability so, to So, you Lee. guys all remember hey, Dr. Lee? What uh, is that it? Lady that, was, <laughs> that lady that was doing, uh, you know, important stuff like making food hydroponically before our dad showed up and was like, Hey, help me build this massive boondoggle that doesn't do anything and will blow up for some reason if someone does something wrong with it. And she's like, damn it, James, I, guess I don't they have thought time it... to clean water. I'm working on hydroponic food here. Chip. <laughs> what would I, what possible use could I have for your water? Get out of here, you loser. It, it always confuses me when uh, Bethesda decides to do these character callbacks. Because until recently, like until this game, their characters are so bland. Like, I had no idea this character was from Fallout 3. Like, I, I think I, I remember... I realize it until somebody just pointed it out. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. I'd like a I mean, it's like, oh, Taking what? Am I supposed to recognize the character yeah, well, model? We've shifted resources off of other <laughs> right? projects, like the child synth, to focus on phase three. Yeah, I thought this hey, was I've character model players recognizable as people, let alone three. specific people. Oh my goodness, I've seen you before. You're that raider I've killed 500 <laughs> times in the last hour. No, tweezers, come back! Those tweezers are mission critical. Yes. I mean, I already have some tweezers, well, but not how those How else ones. will I like... we tweeze? <laughs> I love that they have idiot tanks even here. I think they probably stole the idea from you. For, they saw your they sent a synth in, scouted out your settle in, and saw that you had an idiot <laughs> tank. Yes. And they were like, we, Actually, we need to get in on this. It'd be worth taking over this place just to stuff literally every townsperson into the gorilla enclosure. Preferably with the gorillas. <laughs> I'm sure they would have the technology to make a much better butt scarn sign. Hi, Doc. It'd be fun if you could, like, take over the Institute and make it a hive of scum and villainy. Like, really oh yeah, ah, me and my no raiders, way. we're just gonna Alex, stick dudes Alex in the anymore. gorilla tank you can think of and see who lasts the longest for money. <laughs> like... Oh man. <laughs> You've been through so much. I think most people would have I really want to see, like, a, don't mind my an obsidian, like, version of, like, Vault 3 or whatever, time. where there's the raiders. Where like the raiders have taken over like an institute stronghold, I just and just what sort of dumbass raider shit they co-opt everything him. into? Yes, like that's a really good idea. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the institute's mechanical. Anyway, blah blah blah. blah. We raider. make stuff that doesn't make any sense. All of the systems that make it possible to we waste precious resources place. building things that benefit nobody. Is there anything else you'd like to know? And water, and provides power to the laboratory. <laughs> like if they're gonna give us a default do, character, why can't they the just give us like a, a raider or something? Who, so, like, will have right? a funny or interesting way of reacting to everything, rather than just the blandest possible character. Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a low Well, get, judging by how horrible the sarcastic responses are, <laughs> it's obvious that's beyond, literally beyond their ability. Because that would require, like, division, humor. I'm happy to discuss it. Yeah, I'd want to play, like, a Telltale written campaign, where you're playing original. a raider, and, like, you can play a well-intentioned raider, or, like, a doesn't-give-a-shit raider, or, like, kind of a nasty, like, congenital... A smart raider, or dumb-as-shit raider. Like, it'd be so much fun if you played the dumbest fucking raider, and you just stumble your way through a story. I, I like the idea of being a Philosopher King raider, where, like, you're all super eloquent, you're surrounded by complete idiots.
Just think what this place yeah. will look like a hundred years from now. It just like, I, I, I like the idea of like going up to like a doctor and he's like, anything I can help you with? And one of your options just like, like, can you mix Psycho I'm and stealing your stuff. It's basically the same <laughs> shit, right? <laughs> Oh, and like, no, you, he like enters that one drugs. with just like a what? And it just replaces it with an increasing succession of like, stupid and dangerous and really bad idea questions. Oh, the weapons you can craft are just stupid and like some of them like blow up in your face, but they're like really high critical or something like that. Like you take the risk of it blowing up in your face, but it's also like super effective if it actually works. Like it's Maximum like is like here. Tape if... systems nominal. <laughs> it's like an axe Back <laughs> taped to a sword. <laughs> yeah, picture an axe, but with a handgun taped to the side of the blade, so it goes off when you do the chopping motion. <laughs> it's like a sort of gun blade. <laughs> yes. Oh no. Blade, but it's backwards. My methods get results. this time as well. I really like the idea. Like you'd go up to a raider and be like, uh, do a quest for him, and he's like, all right, in return, here's a schematic I dreamt up while I was in the throes of a psycho <laughs> fever dream. And it's just like a live cat. And it's just like got a Nuka Cola <laughs> bottle taped to its head, and the Nuka Cola <laughs> bottle is stuffed with meat, <laughs> and it's attached to a catapult. Careful, wouldn't have since trying. And you're like, how the fuck does this work? And he's like, I don't know. But when the moment comes, you'll be the director of the synth. I don't know. I'm gonna need more jet to figure it out. Keeping a close eye on. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. All right, you shake a box of sugar bombs, and then you wait for them to go off. Why? It's like a quest to get the world's biggest sword, and you go through all of this trouble to get the sword, but then when you get to it, you can't pick it up because it's too fucking heavy, and it, like, takes up your entire inventory. Shit, man, I didn't think about this. And some guy's like, So basically, you're the secret police. Your secret son was taken police. by the Institute. You're That's like, oh, I have a son. Shit. Which one? That's a pretty son war reference. I'm, a poor, I'm afraid it's lost on me. He recognizes a reference and then claims to not know what it means. Who wrote that line? Trained in combat, infiltration, and That's ridiculous. In a word. Well, I guess, he, like, you could say he was guessing about it being a pre-war reference. I guess Back. maybe. I'd very much like to know. This how guy's cheekbones look like, like something I do with the Dark Souls character creator. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so. I like how the lights on our sunglasses make us look like our eyes are facing, pointing in different directions. I'll have to ask robotics. <laughs> detailed. Oh, Justin, let me tell you the wonders wait, 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 of eating back skinned it. bears. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. <laughs> you think about what Father's plan was. His plan required you to figure out a way to back. teleport well. into the Institute. Man, you must be None of this plan. made any sense. Did he have a plan? Sense. Or did he, just have a, did he just have a sequence of unnecessarily cruel gambits? Well, what if, like, he actually does hate you, but it's like one of those, yeah. like, I want to see if they're as smart as me, if it's really my parent, only my parent would be as smart as I am because I'm so smart. So I'm gonna make a and teleporter. Be... <laughs> and, and that's his Dude, problem. you're my son! Is everything he Why does are you being such is... an asshole? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, everything he does screams out villain, but it's very clear that wasn't intended by the writer. Like, none of that is addressed in the text. But he and, has gorillas oh, in a tank. One of these. He has gorillas. He can't be a bad guy. Pardon me, <laughs> sir. We've had another situation. This is just like. That doesn't make you think. What? Like Bond villain. Time in two weeks. This is. That's the joke, Campster. That was a joke that I was making. <laughs> oh, I'm dumb. Should I? <laughs> should I change my tone? Was I not being like sarcastic enough, or? <laughs> All right, so this is where they make sense. Okay, walk up, gonna walk up, now. Walk, walk up to one of these Mankind, guys and demand that he make you your wife. Not real. 
You just don't want to admit to yourself what you do. And they're like, yeah, sure, give us a minute. They like tap a keyboard, and a minute later, like, there's just like the dead body of your wife with a bullet hole in its head. If a synth can dream, why can't it have a soul? How come you only make dudes? Come on, make some Wait ladies! Wait a second. Wait a second. Can you... Okay, can you get the cannibalism perk and then go back to the vault and then eat your wife? Is that a thing that you can do? Can we try that at some point later? Please? For Mumble? Uh, I, I guess, like, that is dumb enough that I guess we can say, like, Yeah! Yay. Oh, yeah, they, they get... They also get underwear. Do well to remember. Underpants. Because sex doesn't exist in Bethesda Land. Which one of you Ask is him why, why come, why come they make the dudes with no dicks? You're finally with us. I just like to apologize. Well, that, we had that whole problem with Leroy and like the '66 since made in one afternoon, and we figured we should just, you know, roll that back a little bit. Why did they waste Robert Picardo on like this nobody NPC doctor? <gasps> this is Robert Picardo. I can't hear because we're talking over him, but that is criminal. Yeah. Robert Picardo is a I'm gift to humanity. Well, I hope you do decide Who's step. Robert Picardo? It would mean a great deal. The doctor He's one of the Star Voyager. Trek captains, anything, Mumbles. No, 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 Robert no, Picardo. God, God damn it. Please John state the nature of the medical emergency. He's that guy, the bald holodoc from, from, Voy from Voyager. Literally oh the God. only good would thing you from nerds? Voyager. Would you nerds stop talking about Star Trek today? That's all. Seriously, every every 15 minutes, it's Star Trek. I can't hey, take you it ask. anymore. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's fair. This place does. Sort Voyager, of... isn't that the one with Captain Janie Janie? Yes. Yes, it's that. Who is one. the voice? Yes, that is the name Flemeth. she calls herself. That's in true too. Dragon Age Two, Bang Bang. Oh, I, I think Kate Mulgrew is great. I just wish she they is. Could are you kidding? Could have fucking it... wrote Janeway consistently in any fashion. Are you, I just didn't a... notice how badly Janeway ah. was written because now of Kate Mulgrew's excellent the performance. The she just went in there and what sold you... the hell out of that complete bullshit dialogue. First things first. How do I get back to the surface? The same way you got in, of course. You are not a prisoner. The same way you got in. Oh, great. I'll get in my teleport. Oh, wait. Ultimately, it's outside. How do you get out the same way you get in? You told them okay. Famous. Do you have anybody who murdered my wife hanging around? Or any incredibly ungrateful offspring to deny me hints and evidence? Oh, you're doing it right now, actually. That's great. Good job, buddy. You're really helping me out here. He says that, and you just go, and start picking up random knickknacks to build a teleporter platform. <laughs> yes. Let's see. You build There's a right coffee cup on the table, and <gasps> father drinks coffee, so father must have come through here. What do you mean by Let me get my charming I mean, scrappy dog and a robot <laughs> detective <laughs> and track down the what mystery of why my again? kid's such a dick. Form. <laughs> Build one of your rumbling power generators right here in front of him, so it's like belching smoke into the room. <laughs> this is the kind of shit I had to do to get here. Identity alter. Do you have any incredibly radioactive wastelands I can wander through? They're just like full of ravenous ghouls. I've Thought I'd check that one off early. Last time I had to do it after I'd all like of the other horrors and atrocities, so I thought I'd get it out of the way this time. You just time. like... You just teleport Preston Garvey in, you're like, here, you deal all. with them. You want to be such a cool dude? Now here you, you go! And Preston Garvey is like, Father, you why can't, can't you take care of this settlement? Go <laughs> kill this thing for me. <laughs> I also don't understand the logic of, hey, it's great that you're here now. Now go on a dangerous mission to fucking bring back some synth that nobody cares about. Right. Okay, bye! <laughs> Okay, this mission is ridiculous. This is supposed to build up the case that, hey, this is why we have to go to all these extreme measures to, to get our synths back. Sir. Because this synth became like a pirate king, and he ran this horrible raider <laughs> gang. And I'm like, oh, no, so you, know, we, you need... What? You know what makes me angry about this about this quest, if it is the one I think it is? This is the one where they, you go to the... Uh, 
the island or whatever, and it's it's not an island. Yep. It's all on the boats. Yeah, yeah. The 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 pirate sanctuary quest, as bad as all that Sean stuff was, and as bad as the end of this quest is, and I will complain about it. It is infuriating. The actual writing on the uh, terminals about how the the pirate society started and came to be evil yeah. was actually really yeah. really good. Like that's really good. It's the only good writing you will see this week on Spoiler Warning, and. It makes me angry because it's a really cool little story in sam sandwich in between all this awful institute stuff that was clearly the focus of the game and is just awful. So the rest of the parse what just happened here. Okay, we teleport out of the Institute to a different location than we teleported in from. Nick is here and immediately jumps us with some more of his personal shit. Located underneath the He's been waiting for us to get back. So, but I like the conclusion of this coming quest because they're like, oh, this is why we can't let synths, you know, be free because some of them become raiders. And I'm like, by that same logic that you could say we shouldn't make any more people. Like, doesn't that just mean you're successful in making people? <laughs> right? Again, it's like, are, is there are, is there some end game to this plan? Is like the problem, like, we want to keep all the sins here until we can get them right, and then we can repopulate the wasteland? Or is it like, literally, we want to have slaves and picked an incredibly inefficient way to do that? Why don't we you just like, keep using the Gen 1 synths that are yeah, just, like, or right, skeletons? Yeah, or fucking Protectrons, or whatever. Right. It's like, what I is it that you need done that a Protectron can't do? Done your homework on this guy. I absolutely understand yeah. the concept of Dell Standards, but did they just realize that they just created one Raider Warlord out of a hundred, and they created the one with easily right? the most sympathetic backstory. Hell, he was probably the first one. He's a cool dude. I'm convinced that he's still locked in. I like the idea that, that, like, you're not the first person to teleport here, and there's been four or five coursers that, that uh, Nick has told his story to, <laughs> in addition to you. Him and kill him. So, so I, I, I actually really like Nick Valentine. You guys like Nick Valentine, too, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Obviously. Everybody likes Nick. Why kill Eddie Winter? Okay, Even I had a bad thought. Alive. Um... Sounds like something <laughs> which is that. interesting, I've which numbers. I wanted to see what you guys think of it. How much do okay, you think our enjoyment of the character They're comes really exclusively from how good the voice acting is? They're Nick's. 50%. But the girl... Yeah. There, I, like, there's like some good writing here, but... character. Yeah, I'd agree with Mumbles. I, I do, I too. He's actually... I think he's well-written. I actually no, like all the characters. Honestly, it feels like they took a page from Bioware's book and came that. up with a bunch of mm -hmm. cool besties yeah. to hang out with, and they are memorable yeah. characters. We were just complaining about uh, Dr. Lee being this forgettable nobody that just happens to come from Fallout yeah. 3. Um, no, if, if Nick Valentine shows up in Fallout 5, I'll remember Nick Valentine. I'll remember Piper. Yeah, exactly. I'll remember a lot of these characters. They, they put effort into them. Yeah, I don't like Piper, but I would remember her. She'd be old Piper, and I'd be like, oh, there's that character that had some definitive goals and personality. As opposed to Dr. Lee, took off the who was just a wig. Why'd you do that? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. I, I just, I, sometimes I think back on his dialogue and like all the cool moments with him, Let me and I kind of like, I, I mentally scrub out the awesome aesthetic, and I mentally scrub out like the awesome voice acting that just imparts so much personality and feeling into these lines, which, I mean, this is a great vocal performance all around, and I kind of think about the dialogue and like the, the what of what's being said. And I guess it doesn't just, like, I, I feel like it's very much like a lot of the characters in this game. Not just, like, the NPCs we love, but, like, you know, the other just NPCs in the game. And I think, you know, I don't think that's, that's not really an indictment of anything. Because, again, they, they did pick the right voice actors. Right I guess I I'm saying that, that, like... Backstory is really, like, unique and different and cool to listen to. <laughs> That's true. Right. If I was saying anything, it was that, like, I, the backstory is cool, but I feel like there's actually a lot of stuff in this game that I would give oh. more of a fair shake, maybe, even? Oh. If, like, I felt like I could emotionally connect with the people or the universe that took place in. And I feel like yeah. Nick's voice actor does a lot towards helping me get to that point where I'm willing to emotionally connect with it. It's the like, carrot on the stick, basically. Right. Like, yeah. you, it, it draws you in, but I think the actual content 
of who he is and his personality, I think that is more than enough. I think it's a really, really cool story. That's fair. I mean, it is a, like he's a cool character. Josh, you may want a quick save. The guy does have a, a fat boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we're not quite there yet. Um, but, yeah, that's something we'll do here. Uh, I'm trying to remember what else I need for that. I think you need four more ranks of Idiot Savant. There's only mm. one more left. Let's do that. Well, what level are we? 23. Wow, we yep. kind of snuck now through I'm the levels like, there. Now I'm just waiting for the fat boy dagger to drop. Yeah, I, I just came back from Horror Nights yesterday, and I'm still sort of like in that waiting-to-be-spooked mindset. 